Hello, welcome to the crafting table. We are back here with more Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2, the Extreme Moon Elf Necromancer playthrough, with my boy Iseron. And we're just rolling through, let's see, what was it? Knoll Cave number 2, I believe. And I think one of these is. Uh, man. I got scared. I thought one of them was a uh, was a mimic. We'll see those later for sure, though. And we're done here, so we're gonna go back out to Skull Gorge. I think there is another cave somewhere. Yep, there it is. That's the one I missed. That's Null Cave One right there. Watch. Yep, Null Cave One. Knew it. I knew I missed one. But we're in here now, so that's what counts. Like a drop, like a ring or an amulet or something. So I think the reason why, because I think I did like hand weapon focus and stuff like that, but I think the reason why you can only get one attack um, when you have claws of darkness on is because it's. I think it's considered an unarmed attack. And since I don't have unarmed fighting... Man. Imperial Dagger. Those guys are no joke. Here you go, have some of that. Let's go the far, far end first. Always got to keep that shield up. See, look how fast he casts with haste. That's max level haste right there. Is very fast. Grand leather boots of what now? Grand leather boots of speed. Sprint? No, I'll, I'll stick with the iron will ones. Some more armor, some more grand scale mail. Which you don't need, but... Good to pick it up to sell it. Yeah, look how much damage he did. I should have blocked, but I wasn't really thinking. I thought he'd go down faster than that. go. That's with haste maxed out. And active. Very fast casting. Slow them down. And honestly, you can you can knock these guys down initially like that and they'll they'll stay on the ground for a little bit and then you can just finish them off with some sort of acid or fire spell. So you don't necessarily need to begin the fight with an acid or fire spell as long as you you uh, hit them while they're down. So it looks like that's it for the Knoll Cave, the first Knoll Cave that we should have went to be to begin with. So now we can continue on. I think we were on the quest for the 
Thunder Orb or something like that? Is that what it is? Orb of Thunder. Yeah, we're headed to Liren's Hold. Increases with the memories he regains. Uh, this quest may be completed uh, may be completed more than once. I could have swore I already did. It, it, it wasn't letting me do any more of Omdewil's research. That's the class quest for Iseron. Because it's not really like... Uh, how do you put it? It's, it's not necessary anymore after you beat the game once with with a character their class quest because you already got the feet feet unlock for all the different feats you get for i guess you could call it multi-classing i will go back to Baldur's gate and check it though just in case and some of the time wasn't counting against it already because i wasn't paying attention Hang on, let's see, delete and start. There we go, man. I keep forgetting to do that. I really do need to remember to start the timer. I just get so excited to play the game that I forget to start the, the timer for the episode. So many good memories with this, this game and the first one. What I really wish they would release on Steam for PC is Champions of Norath and Champions Return to Arms. Man, please, whoever's out there listening. More time. I don't even remember paying him the first time. I think that'll open up in Chapter 3. But, yeah, whoever released the first two Baldur's Gate Dark Alliances onto Steam. I mean, I know it's ridiculous to pay for, like, a 20-whatever-old game. It, it's just so much fun, though. I love this game. I love the other one, too. But I know, I'm fairly certain it was the same people who did Champions of Norath and Champions Return to Arms. If, if, if you're out there and you're listening, please, please, please do it on Steam. I will buy it. And I'm sure there's more people than just me that would buy it. All right, ambush. We got to get out of here. Woo. There we go. Slow him down. First and foremost. There we go. Now you're all in big trouble. All right. My companion took a beating. So we'll summon him back. Get him all haste up, hasted up and whatnot. Let's see. Let's see who else is skulking around here. I know there's more. Liren's hold is gonna be kind of difficult, I think. <clears throat> All right, we've seen this before. And the only reason why I say Liren's hold might be a little difficult is for the sheer fact that there are traps and traps don't give a crap about blocking or anything like that so 
That'll be interesting. See what happens. Good thing slow still works on these guys, though. I mean, they're really not that fast to begin with. But it's nice to have that little bit of an extra edge. Down he goes. Oh, it's a mace. I thought it was one of those daggers. Uh, what are we looking at for weight? We should probably head back. I'll take care of these last couple of guys here, and then we'll head back. Yeah, let's go ahead and head back and sell. Get rid of every... all the bits we don't need. Oh yeah, lots of money from all that. Charisma, plus one. Uh, no, get rid of it. Lots of stuff. Flawless bolting studded. Hmm. Gotta check that out. Bolting what now? Dexterity. F oh. Fine. F flawless half plate. Fine. Bolting studded leather boots. Dexterity. Really not that important for our character. I'm more or less looking for anything with constitution or more hit points, intelligence, things like that. kinds of stuff. More all kinds of stuff. I don't know if running over this, those traps at like full tilt actually keep you from getting hit. Might be something to look into maybe. Yeah, I know. Helpful hint. Helpful hint. You can drink potions with the R2 button. Or whatever it is. Oh, these guys aren't even that, not even that tough. Lots of stuff in Liren's Hold, apparently. Grand short bow for the selling. I think that's a pathway down to the basement, which we can't go down there yet.
I want to try something out here. Shocking grasp. Hmm. Can't really tell a difference. I think it's. I think claws of darkness is supposed to help you with that, but with the with your touch spells. But for me, it's kind of like you know what? Just stay away from the enemies in general. Because you get hit when you get close to them. I'd much rather not. What is that, ghoul touch? Yeah, I don't think that works at all. Yeah, I think it helps you with your touch spells, but... I just stay away and do... Shadow Spray. It's probably just better overall to do that. Did I just pick up a stupid little club? I don't need that. It's only worth four gold. Alright. But, I don't know. I mean, I might as well just keep myself buffed with it, just in case it is actually doing something with uh, Shadow Spray. Or whatever spell I'm casting from far away. Now it might start getting hairy, because I know this is where the traps start showing up. At least I thought that's where it was. Am I mistaken? Is it the second level? I think it's the second level, actually. My mistake. Alright, save. Go with innervation for a little bit, huh? Ooh, what's that? What do we have there? Not that great, honestly. Ooh, that ain't good. Yeah, the uh, the traps ain't fun on a character that's not the dwarf. know if it's really worth it trying to grab all this treasure and such. Not even gonna bother going for that weapons thing. I'm just gonna go through here. Oh, that is not a spell. That is not an attack spell. Oh, wow. Yeah. Traps, everybody. Traps. 
Oh my god. Yeah, the traps, not a good time. Where is Enervation? Okay, we can't go through that way. Alright, so running through here, there's going to be more traps. I just want to get out of Liren's Hold. Honestly, it's, it's probably the worst place possible on extreme difficulty. those have traps near them. But, uh, yeah, there's one. And this is the trap haven up in here. Let's get back to Shadow Spray. I think Shadow Spray is slightly better. Although maybe in a large-ish group, it's probably probably innervation for the win on that. Crackling, leather boots. See if we can get through this room without getting just mollywomped.
and make sure that shield stays up. Okay, here we go. This ought to be hilarious and fun. Okay, open chest. Okay, save game before I do this. Something, destroy them. Alright. Whoop! This way. Catch me if you can, Liren. <laughs> I have the hay spell. See you later. Okay, yeah, there's there's more enemies. They've all Well, they haven't like respawned, but there's just there's new enemies here. Hopefully we can finish this off. You know, I was kind of surprised that they got rid of the, uh, like, sorcerer or sorceress style. Um, what do you call it? Character. Playable character. I mean, I guess you can kind of get that with the cleric, but, I don't know, it's just not the same. But you don't have like an arcane caster, I guess is like a like a hmm. What am I trying to say? Because this guy kind of casts more along the lines of like shadow spells and things like that, and summon spells and whatnot. But you don't have you know burning hands or uh, meteor storm or whatever it's called, fireball, uh, lightning ball, things like that. You don't have a character that does that in this one. Go no, further. go no further. I'll go where I feel like going, buddy. Hip. All right, gotta make sure haste is up on this. Oh my God! You can you can cast you can cast slow on him. I can't believe that works. Although, Enervation is probably my best bet down here. Whoop. Okay, yada yada. Talks about, oh, uh, Liren can't be hurt by normal means. Lord, whatever that noise was. All kinds of stuff that I can't pick up. I wonder if I should try recalling. Yeah, let's try recalling and then coming back. Although he's going to catch us unawares. I already know it.
Man, that was a lot of weaponry and such. Weaponry and such. Okay, whoops, I didn't want to sell any healing potions. Definitely need to hold on to those. Imperial Ring of Nat Sanctuary, not useful. Sunder, also not useful. Alright, let's buy some of those, buy one of them, and get back. Only up. Oh, see, I told you. I told you he was going to catch us unawares. Slow. See you later. See you later. Can't catch me, I'm the gingerbread man. Still the gingerbread man. <laughs> Going so fast. Wait. Did I leave any of the enemies behind here in the dust? I can't believe you can use slow on him. I'm actually quite surprised. He's a pretty high level... I would imagine he's a pretty high level... Necromancer himself, considering he's a lich. That's kind of the ultimate goal of necromancers. I'm gonna save it right here. Because this is gonna be brutal up in here. A lot of enemies up in here. Although, Enervation. Enervation. Real nice spell for lots of enemies. Especially the highest level Enervation. Once you can get it. Alright, let's gather up some more. Did my... He did. He's gone. Your shadow died. Where, wait, where'd he go this time? There he is.
Ooh, nice. Okay, let's see. What are we picking up? What are we picking up here? The video should be already done. But, I'm gonna keep going. Just so I can get rid of Lirin. Um... Hmm, already maxed out slow. I mean, I guess we could go down Shocking Grasp for a time. There still is a few of the, a few of these here. It's like Great Fortitude. We can max that out. Uh, we don't need Fear or Ghoul Touch at the moment. Let's get the last level of Endurance, Endurance, Endurance. Uh, and now let's go for. Not life drain. Um, where to go? Shocking grasp. Yeah, let's just let's just buy some points into shocking gra grasp and see how that how it do. We can give it a try. I don't really expect too much, honestly. Yeah, I'm not really not really that surprised with how that worked out. It'd probably be better if I had points into, I don't know, like strength and whatnot to raise my attack. To be able to actually hit stuff with my touch spells. But. Never mind. Alright, we're just gonna go ahead and. Kind of walk slowly across this here. Because he can... He can push you over it. Alright, here we go. Alright, let's save it and get into his crypt area. Okay, where is the other one? It's weird. There it is. <laughs> but I don't think he's having a good time here. Okay, that wasn't the way either. Oh, he hit a bunch of his own things. That's fantastic. Better put my shield back up, though. Alright. And that. Whoop, see you later. I'm almost faster than his attacks. That's awesome. I think it's this one? No. It's one of these in here somewhere. There it is. Gotcha. No more Lyran. Ooh, 
Wow, look. That's normal speed. This is this is normal speed for your character. Yep. This is why haste is a really good investment. did finish off endurance too so we have basically max carrier weight minus enchanted gear to help us carry stuff uh, and that would be what is it called strength gear to try and help carry things or at least gear with strength stats on it Which will probably have like one ring with some strength and constitution on it, and then another one with like constitution and whatever else. Uh, intelligence, most likely. Because strength is useful for carrying items. I think it's like five, five units per point of strength. Alright, what we're going to do is we're going to save it here. I don't know how this boss fight is going to go. So we got one more boss fight for this episode, and then we're going to have to end it there. Uh, where is... There's his weather machine. Okay, we're going to get our Conjure Shadow out. We're going to buff up. And then we're also going to... Yeah. We're going to use this Dark Possession... Because watch this. Okay, we we already know what's going on here. Yeah, da, 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 slave us. And our pet's already going ham. Done. Oops. I don't think I grabbed everything up here. Yeah, I want all this stuff. Why would I want to leave so early? Man, our minion did not give a crap about that. Alright, let's get back to the entrance. We'll leave that via that way, so that way we don't have to run that far when we get back to Baldur's Gate to get to Jerick. Jerk? Jerick. Actually, although we do need to sell things, so screw it. We'll just, we'll just do it this way. It's fine. A little bit extra time. Never hurt nobody. Okay. Any nice little dagger for me? Oof. What a sneeze. Uh, remarkable assassin studded leather helmet. Acid poison resistance, acid poison resistance, and the treasure drop. So yes, we will be wearing that helmet. And it's slightly better than the one we're wearing now. So let's get it on. We finally have full studded leather armor. Fantastic. He looks fanciful. Okay. Get rid of a few of those. Get rid of all the blue potions. Yeah. Get rid of that stuff, and we almost have a million gold, which is insane. But that's kind of where we're going to have to leave it, is right here with turning this into Jarek. I was ambushed, Centaurum, something... Tell me about the Jade Octahedron. Okay, goodbye. But yeah, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for stopping by, checking out Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance 2, the extreme Moon Elf Necromancer playthrough. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself, and hopefully we'll see you next time. Until then, have a great night, everyone.